It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1577, recorded on Thursday, June 30th, 2016. Pocket Volcano. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have some smartphones, smart tablets, smart refrigerators, and two, not one, but two crappy corners. All next on The Giz Whiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! It is time for the Giz Whiz, and here he is, the maestro of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing super. That's fantastic. And now we are officially the best pod, the best tech podcast nominated. Best nominated tech podcast. They can't take that away from us, but they did take our title, uh, our winning. We're not. We are not an award-winning podcast. No. We are no. a nominated, award-nominated podcast. Award-nominated podcast. Yeah. It's just okay. about as good. Uh, it, I'd say. Uh, oh, it's better. It's now better. That we, now that we lost, <laughs> it's way better. <laughs> yeah. What, I mean, that whole system was rigged anyway. So. Uh, who cares? No. Right. No, it, it was funny that, because uh, I, I emailed you and said, wait a minute. Why How is everybody is who's winning already have a video? Yeah. How, <laughs> how is it that they're either calling in and they know to call in, or that they already have a video uh, pre-done? This seems I know. suspicious. All right. So I, I guessed earlier in the day they told people. Um, yeah, who won to, and who didn't. Do that, yeah. You know, uh -huh. I do. I do have a uh, a small sort of secondary prize. Oh, what'd you win? Uh, we we have been following for now weeks, about three or four weeks, the growth of the crystals behind me, uh, oh. and how they have grown everywhere but inside of the glass that they're supposed to grow in. Well, I had an idea, Dick. Yes, yes, yes. I know how crystals tend to grow. They, there's something that starts them from growing, uh, and then they grow on top, and they build a structure on top of crystals. I was, I was thinking science. I was thinking like science. And so after the show last week, I took one of these crystals that was on, on that you can kind of see all the residue that's around it here in the white yes, shot. Yes, yes. I took one of these, broke it off, Here's a little here's a little broken crystal that you can kind of kind of see. I can put it in the in the product shot. You know, you get a little a little bit of a broken crystal. Okay. And I just took this crystal and I dropped it into uh, into the water here, and you wouldn't believe it. Crystals have oh grown. Oh my word! We have tons of crystals. So oh my here is my theory as to what happened. And why, and here it is under a lot more blue light. There's some more, you know, we got tons and tons of crystals in there. So that kit did work. It ended up finally working. You can see see so, how all the so crystal residue it, has kind of well, come you, off. You the, just had to wait more time so, or the fact that no crystals actually fell in the thing. I think so. So here's what I think happened is we, once you, you took this big solution, you took water, right? Yes. You put the, the, the first solution into it, and the water had to be very hot. And then you stirred it around and made sure all those, those that first thing got dissolved into it. And then you waited, and we waited 10 minutes, and we set a timer, and the timer went off for 10 minutes. But I remember reading in the instructions that temperature was, very, it was a big factor. And then we put in, uh, so that was just in my mind, but then we put in the second solution, and the second solution, when I saw it going in, it, look, it looks basically like salt. It looks like little things of salt, basically. And I saw those get dissolved up, right? Dissolved super quick into the solution. And I was thinking, hmm, I, can't, I don't know if those are supposed to stay solid or what. Go, move on, nothing grows, nothing grows, nothing grows. I think that that first time that, that when 
after it was supposed to cool down, either I didn't let it cool down enough or the instructions didn't say to let it cool down enough because those little salt things were not supposed to dissolve. Those are supposed to be the base, oh, which is oh. what I ended up dropping in last week. Um, so I think I needed to make sure that it cooled down a lot more before I put in that second packet of stuff uh, for the crystals to grow. So wow. yeah. So now so we by, have quite by a next few week you probably won't see me because there'll be crystals all <laughs> across. It'll grow out of that bowl so and come many to the crystals stream. will grow. I mean it's it's really neat to look at. Uh, and I'm glad that it finally ended up working. Whoa, Isn't look that at cool? that. Isn't that cool? And then it comes. Now, up are they floating or are they? No, that's uh, that's just in the solution. That's oh, uh, oh, the reflections. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, so they're at the bottom there. I can't. I obviously can't tilt it, so you can see from the side. Yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, that's well, here okay. I can show you in my in my. There you go. <laughs> oh, I got them now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that great? So they work. That is great. It works. Uh, the base and, and and we didn't win as best as best tech podcast. <laughs> what who the heck? Who's who I did my own growing? troubleshooting here. Come on, best tech podcast. The base has been attached uh, to the bottom. The LED is also. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got it. Okay, the red one is now working, so we can see. Okay, what this, you see, so this, problem ooh. solving right and left. I know. I know. Gosh, I can't believe we didn't win that Tech Podcast Award. <laughs> yeah, so I'll have to clean up all those crystals later. But, hey, we actually have, we actually made crystals. That's good. Um, eventually. That's good. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And also, we should point out that uh, we have a very unique situation today in as much as it's June 30th, and we're recording the Gizwiz, and June is cheap. Science gadgets. Yes. Uh, Ch Chad's crappy corner. <laughs> so it's crappy still June. Crappy science gadgets. Yes. But <laughs> tomorrow, when the show plays back, it'll be in we'll July. Start, it'll be July, and it's a different topic. So Chad actually today is going to do two crappy. If Ooh. if you did two more, you would have a box. You'd have four corners. <laughs> I know. But we'd finally have a room. Uh, we'd have Chad's have crappy room. room. Well, you're going you're gonna to need another room for the growing Christmas. I know. you got to have a yeah. fourth wall that you can break. You know, that's, so we got one, two, fourth wall. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we got two crappy corners. Uh, one for uh, June, one for July. Because it takes right. 24 hours to, to get this uh, show up and running. Yes, yes, and repaired. And repaired, exactly. I, I forgot, where were you last week? Because I was at, um, where was I? I, I, I was at the, uh, the uh, Consumer Electronics Week. Oh, in yes. The, and uh, you I was, were? I was in, in Anaheim at VidCon. VidCon, VidCon is uh, basically a lot of YouTubers back in the day who did vlogs, uh, which are video logs or... Oh, uh, video yeah. uh, they made a convention, and it's a very vlog-focused convention, but this year they said that they were going to have a gamer focus, uh, and so I went to, uh, to see what that was like and uh, hang out with some, some, and make some new friends and have a good time in Anaheim, and we, I, get to go, I got to go to Disney, had a oh. lot of fun for that, with that, uh, Disneyland. Great. Um, Great. Yeah, a lot of fun, had a lot of fun uh, in Anaheim over, over last weekend. Yeah, I left on Tuesday, and then for a, a vid, VidCon's weird. It start, it goes Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, I sh I left Tuesday night. My flight was delayed four hours. Oh. Uh. Uh, and uh, there were people next to us that their flight was like delayed an hour and a half, and they right. were like cheering when the, they they started to board the plane. I was like, hey. You can't cheer. I'm still, I'm still waiting. I still got two hours left. Like you can't. Yeah, oh, we didn't yeah. cheer. We were just miserable whenever they started uh, loading our plane. There was no cheering that we oh. were finally boarding. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. Well, let's jump into some gadgets. Uh, shall okay. We? So uh, there were two big events in the city. One is CE Week, which is like a mini uh, consumer electronics show, and. The funny thing about it was, as I walked around, I think I saw 70% of things that I saw in Vegas at the beginning of the year. And I would just go from booth to booth to booth saying, wait a saw minute, it. I saw this. And they go, yes, 
But now you can buy it. Yes, but now it's released. <laughs> now it's really available. I did find something. This is my favorite thing from uh, both shows, from Lenovo. And uh, it, it had such a strange name. Let me just get here. It, the the Leno Lenovo Fab 2 Pro, which is coming out probably in August, that adds VR... Virtual reality to your to th this new tablet. Uh, so we tried to do a video, but you really needed a bunch of cameras. So what we're going to do is go to Madrid, and we can talk over their video. So if you want to go to that link, and then it's the video on the right, chat at the top on the right, this the one, one that that's that's one. If you start Tango that video, Tango, right? Demo. So we'll let him talk for a few minutes, get give you a little background of it. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the Mobile World Congress here in Barcelona. And welcome to the Lenovo stand, where innovation never stands still. You, did, you don't now, know about this yet. No, I haven't heard of it. Oh, okay, How very good. smart can smartphones get? Well, I'm about to show you. We are really, really proud to present Project Tango. In collaboration with Lenovo and Google, what is Project Tango? Project Tango is giving your mobile phone the ability to see like the human eye. I know, it's pretty big stuff. Now let's break this down. When you walk into a room, we naturally know how things, how far they are away. A table, a chair, how far we are from each other, right? It's natural, it's subconscious. We don't need to think about it. Mobile phones don't find that natural until now. I know, it's pretty groundbreaking. I we know, are really, I really know. excited to show this with you. Okay? So now, we've got some really cool demos and I want to share them with you. So let's prove this. This is Project Tango, okay? And this is navigation. So, we've got a demo video lined up for you. And as you can see, this is Google Maps in real time, both indoors and out. So all you have to do what? is put in your destination, where you're going to so, your job. Chad, this is so great. At a convention, uh, put in the um, ballroom work, the event is your, your at. Oh my gosh, you're going, please. And, and follow the blue dots. I know. This is uh, finding no ballrooms. No one knows yes. the name of ballrooms no ever. I'm like, I need to go to the Andromeda ballroom. And they're like, what? Huh? Excuse you? And it's just uh, frustrating. I'm really, really impressed and excited to share this with you. Not and then you get that. to a to to the corridor, so and you don't know which the way we use our right or left. I know. Now, if you look around it's so today, frustrating. So this will just bring you so right to the door. So this, so I, I uh, that already is great. And is Tango? Tango is a Google demo. product. This is just yes. a phone so that works with it. Yes. it. That's right. Okay, guys. So that was navigation. Now we've got something else equally as exciting to share with you. Now, if you look around the stands today, they're fantastic. The carpenters have worked so hard measuring stuff, and we're going to measure it. It's a new utility. It's going to revolutionise the way carpenters and DOI enthusiasts work, or even just average Joe. So what I've got, I've got a little app called Measure It, and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It measures stuff. So we go into the app. Here we go, hold tight. And now I'm going to use the shelf just here. We're nice and easy, go from left to right. So I'm just going to clear this to start again. And all we do is tap on the green dot. There we go, we've got our one point. Scroll nice and smoothly onto the right hand side for our second point. Voila! Measured, done, easy. Now, I know a lot of you guys use different metric systems, not a problem. We just go into the settings here and click off, change the metric system, have a look at that, done. Jack, can, can you pause the video there for a second? Yeah. So, oh, okay, so I, I think this, this is not the most dramatic demo because at, <laughs> at Pepco, at, uh, at, at CE Week, they showed this app, but it, Lowe's is already on board and one other big, uh, uh, big box place. And what you do is... You scroll through rolls. You're shopping for a refrigerator, and you see the model you like. You put your finger on the refrigerator, and you drag it into your kitchen. Oh, my gosh. The phone. So you have your phone aimed at your kitchen. You drag the refrigerator into it. The phone measures all the appliances in your kitchen and scales the refrigerator 
into how it will look in your kitchen. I need this for clothes. <laughs> and then you can put it anywhere in the kitchen. I, I thought That's it was way cool. That that is way cool. Anyway, yeah. so that that was that was my favorite thing. So we can go on with this. Yeah, now. or you could that, measure it, a tiny little desk, the table at a convention. You know, right here. And the third the third thing uh, you may like, I, I didn't get it. The third thing is their gaming app. So let's keep going. Okay, cool. Okay. There we go. This is an absolute game changer in utilities as well. Makes it super, super easy. It's in testing, so um, it will be developed further, but this is just a taster of what's to come. Now, not only that, guys, there's more. That's right. There's I more. Know. It's I also going to revolutionize our gaming. Okay, any big gamers out there? I'm a Call of Duty fan. FIFA yes, fan. Chad, Chad. Yes. Oh, yes. Chad. Right. Minecraft, let's right? Let's play a little game oh, as well. That's the best way. Let's show you. <laughs> So, we're going to play Jenga. Everybody knows Jenga, right? Classic. So, I this know. is my space. Here we go. Let's go for it. So, aim it nice and steady. Away we go. Build those blocks. Build those blocks. Fantastic. Right. Now, it's so cool. It feels like the blocks are actually there. So, what we do is, nice and easy. This is multiplayer as well. You can, the first couple of levels, you can touch on the target and it will pop it just onto the top layer for you. But let's play properly, right? No cheating. So, keep that I'm tablet hold, still. Let's go for the blue one. <laughs> it's yes. early. Come on, I can do this. Let's start off on a good day. I was terrible at this a couple of days ago. Yes. Nice. Done it. Here we go. And up and down. Cracked it. There we go. I'm going to end on a positive note. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Jenga. And the nice thing is, you can pass this round. You can have one device. Or anyway, you can we can go out there. He, he, he demonstrated game. three different Absolute games. Wow. Ranger. Okay, really so this is show you that as well. Tango. So this is Tango. It, it, uh, Lenovo is going to have the first device that will have it uh, built in. It is the Lenovo Fab, uh, spelled P H A B. 2 Pro, uh, qual uh, the Snapdragon 652 processor, uh, that's a 6.4-inch uh, QHD screen, 16-megapixel rear camera, 8-megapixel front camera, 0.3-second uh, fast focus, uh, 5.1 audio capture, th three microphones with 360 sound, noise cancellation, uh, aluminum case, Fingerprint scanner and Looks a, like a really nice phone. Holy beautiful! Man. A four thousand fifty milliamp battery. Oh my gosh! Finally, uh, yes, Big old battery. Uh, uh, yes, and I think there's only just one model. Sixty-four gigabytes of uh, ROM, four gigabytes of RAM, and uh, you know there might be different models because uh, they said it starts at four ninety-nine, and they expected it to be available starting sometime in August. But it's a beautiful looking device. And I thought, I thought, finally, something different. Yeah, oh, seriously. And also, the, the guy who was demonstrating it, uh, he said, uh, you like to play dominoes? I said, uh, yeah. He said, uh, all right, let's take dominoes on all the furniture in the booth. So you hold the phone up to the booth, and then you drag dominoes over, and you pile <laughs> them across the couch and down the display desk and up the st and then you hit the first one and they in, they in all the, fall over they all fall all through the furniture it was it's great fun it was really wow. great fun. usb type yeah. c it looks like charger wow yes now yes. lenovo i thought was bought by google uh, who owns lenovo you know i, I can't remember I think Lenovo is still uh, Lenovo bought Motorola, but I don't know if anybody bought Lenovo. Chat room, any? I haven't. I, I haven't been following the Lenovo yeah. story. They were in her. They were. They weren't doing so great, which was really upsetting because the ThinkPad uh, laptop series has been loved. China, Absolutely. all of China bought Lenovo. <laughs> no, uh, Lenovo bought Motorola. Lo Motorola, okay. yeah, th okay. that I knew. Yeah. Anyways, but so so far. Looks great. I guess they're still independent, and now they're working with Google. Okay. So that's pretty neat. Wow. It's a fancy-looking phone, fancy-looking uh, features with uh, the 3D uh, ro ro room scanning. Very cool. Yes, yeah, yeah. Very absolutely. cool. Okay.
Huh. Okay, our second gadget is, uh, for the next two weeks, I'll be jumping back and forth between CE Week and Digital Focus, uh, which is the Pepcom event. Um, and that is something from MasterCard. Oh, oh, like Lenovo teamed up with Google. MasterCard has teamed up with Samsung. And this is what they came up with. Hey, Dick DiBartolo, Man's Man is trying to end the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. So I'm walking through the digital experience and I am experiencing an unbelievable refrigerator and Jeannie is going to tell us about this. I am a, what do we, why do we have this big screen here? So Samsung developed the Family Hub Fridge. Um, we just rolled this out in market, and essentially what MasterCard did is to develop the Groceries by MasterCard app. When you open up the app, you can actually order from two merchants right now, ShopRite and Fresh Direct. You can actually look at, shop at your favorite grocery items from both stores, but do one single checkout, so it's convenient, seamless, and easy for you. So I'll make a grocery list, and then, Will it electronically go to that store or will it print it out for me to take there? So it doesn't do that quite yet. We are definitely working on that. But right now, you can actually do put your shopping list together and you can actually add it to cart. To the cart, okay. And then uh, I see it's sponsored by MasterCard. Now, if I had a MasterCard and another brand of card, can I still use this with the other brand? Yes, you can use any major U.S. credit card right now. We would absolutely prefer MasterCard, but any U.S. major credit card. Okay, now before I saw uh, pictures of food and stuff, what was that? Sure. So one of the key features of this fridge is that, you know, if you're anything like my family, you would open up the fridge and... Oh, your family. I, your family. I, they annoy... No, no. <laughs> go, 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 go ahead. That's right. So now instead of that, you can actually view right inside of the fridge... Oh, and what? you, you can get see a, exactly what? what's inside. Oh, wait. So we open the door, and I'm going to see juice and cupcakes. That's correct. Okay. Why don't you try that? Follow me. Follow me, Larry. What? Oh, and, and cupcakes. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm, and and what, why is this a good thing? So everyone's always trying to figure out, you know, what's inside their fridge. If you were traveling, for example, and, opening and you wanted the door to find out, oh, you know, do I still have hard. those eggs? You know, do I need extra <laughs> milk? You can actually view inside with the companion app that comes with the family hub fridge. Oh, In wait, addition to okay. that, if I was I walking down that. like a Whole Foods or, you know, any major grocery store right now, store, and I wanted to see, well, yes, do exactly. I actually there have like apples, you know, for my juicing, I can actually view from my mobile phone while I'm shopping and see exactly what's inside my fridge. Oh my word, is, is there more than one camera in here or just one big wide angle camera? There are three cameras in here. In fact, if I open up the fridge right now for you, you can see that there are three cameras listed on the side door. Oh yes. And each time you close the door, it will snap a new photo. Oh, in case you change things around. That's correct. That is really amazing. Now, I assume this has got to be a little on the high-end side. <laughs> it's, it's side. all stainless. <laughs> yes, it is. Really beautiful. And for people who know, how many cubic feet is this? It's about 20. This version is 27 cubic feet. 27 cubic feet. And the retail price is? Between five to $6,000. <laughs> $6,000. I am now placing an order for one of these refrigerators, and I am now charging it to Genie's credit card. So stopping here was really good. I'll give you my home. <laughs> okay. The uh -oh. best to try to end the Gizwiz one take theater here with Gizwiz.tv. Bye. I loaded their site and uh, the video kind of went all crazy. <laughs> oh my God. $5,000. So, okay. So when she said, I was a little confused when she said that it would add it to your cart. Was yes, she this saying is, that it would, like, through another service, then it would be delivered to my house? No. Okay. It, right now, they, they ha have it set up so that all week long, anybody in the family can go and, oh, I need this. And then you'll, at the end of the week, you'll have a full list of what everybody in the family wants. Got it. But it... it 
uh, so far, it is not set to send it directly to the retail. They all they are working on that, and um, uh, uh, it was a little broken up. Mastercard developed it, but any credit or debit right. card works in it. Um, I also have to uh, thank Larry Gerson. Uh, Dennis uh, was had a show had show tickets that night, so Larry Gerson shot the video for us there. And the other thing is. I was looking online. If you don't need the Wi-Fi refrigerator, and by the way, on that screen there, are, you can get recipes and watch television. You know, it's it's Wi-Fi enabled to yeah, do yeah. everything. And I th I thought it's kind of clever. Whole calendar, kind of yes, looks yes, you know? and it's very clever so that every time you close the door, it takes three new pictures, so that in case you've moved anything around, and I mean, I think it's really neat that you're at at a store and go do i have skim milk <laughs> yeah. and you go let me you know i i would have to say that very loud so i get a lot of attention and go oh do i have skim milk let me look inside my refrigerator yeah exactly my four thousand five thousand dollar <laughs> refrigerator at home has cameras inside of it there you yeah, go. Yeah, there absolutely. you go. Yes. And they, they make similar models without that. And I, I think they are one to two thousand dollars less. Yeah. So uh, technology, if you want to be one of the first, these were announced again at CES, but just started shipping in May. That's interesting. Uh, By the way, this one door can switch between a fridge or a freezer. You, if you look at this uh, cutaway, this, these are two different sections at the bottom of uh, the fr fridge. So this will always be a freezer, but this side, the right-hand side, could be a fridge or a freezer. If yes. So, so yeah. I was talking about that, and they said, like, so you're having a party, and you, you want to have a ton of soda and beer, and you're not going to need frozen food for the party, so you can turn that section that you were using as a freezer. Look at these prices. Uh, <laughs> oh, my word. I scrolled down. Literally, scroll scrolled down. I know. I, those, I, uh, I, scroll away. Was, those are yeah. expensive. They're even higher than I thought. Um, I Woo. think these are the large ones. They, they make, uh, she said, 27 cubic feet, and I think they make a 22 uh, cubic foot version, too. Yeah, so it, it's very clever. That, that whole section down there can uh, either be a freezer or a refrigerator at will. I mean, it's an astounding thing, but I mean, that refrigerator actually is bigger than my kitchen, so. <laughs> I know, right? And it, uh, so, I mean, French door style, uh, you have not only uh, water and uh, ice in the door, uh, but you have this gigantic screen. Yes, it's 20, uh, 21 and a half inch oh LCD touch screen. I know. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So very, very, very cool. Uh, this is probably the kind of thing that someone who of, owns uh, a house would have. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Samsung, if you need someone <laughs> yeah. to test out your new fridge, yeah. uh, I'm here for you. Uh, yeah. You know. Oh, there you go. They'll probably welcome that. Take a hit for the team just to show people how nice it is. You need a guy who has uh, some connected devices. Yeah. Yeah, and a Samsung. Big enough, <laughs> big enough to put it in. Yeah, send one over. Um, no, yeah, that, that's, uh, wow, what a cool uh, yeah. fridge. Yeah, cool, cool in every way. Many times, <laughs> freezing even. Um, yeah. Many times I'll see fridges try to do technology things, and it's just like, uh, I don't need I don't need this. This is actually the first fridge that I've seen with some built-in technology that actually looks like, oh yeah, that is really cool. Seeing yeah. the inside of my fridge with you know photos of what's inside, that's yeah. cool. I could use uh, that. Yes, and and if, even if you have kids and stuff, you just say, don't keep opening the door. Look at the right. picture. It's right. not there. You see it's not there, you don't have it. Put exactly. it on the list. Stop using yeah, stop wasting all the cold air. Uh, and then on top of that, the convenience of being able, of when you notice, oh gosh, I'm, I'm down to very little milk. Okay, close the door, tap, tap, more milk has been yes. added to my list. 
Uh, that's a that's a nice feature as well. I think that's a great feature. So yeah, uh, and, and also as you're adding items to the list, if you want, it can it can give you the label information. So if you're saying uh, how many calories, if I order this, how many calories? All that stuff can come up with a couple more tabs. Oh my gosh, yeah. So and, that's, and this I, is nice. Yeah, it's nice, and I think it. Uh, I think there's even an, uh, a. A menu item there where it'll say, how long can I keep this in my refrigerator? Oh, that's So nice. it's like a ton of info uh, in addition to... If you don't like to- smelling, uh, you know, smelling your dairy products to see if they're, uh, they're still in, in season, if... Uh- uh, you can just uh, look at look at the side of your fridge. Look at, exactly, that's exactly. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. Uh, Samsung Family Hub refrigerator. Well, uh, you guys better get ready because we yes, got not because one. We're going to, as I said before, we're going to have two totally different themes. We're going to round out June with number one. Chad's crappy corner. Oh, you it. Who you might want it at Chad's crappy corner? Get it. So it's still June, and we're expecting another scientific marvel like the uh, crystals growing like everywhere, the crystals, which literally took an entire month to make, but we finally did it. We finally made it happen. So. You're thinking science. What is, just answer me truthfully, Dick. You think of a kid doing a science fair project, what are you going to think of? What, what's the first thing pops your mind? Explosions. Explosions. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't buy explosions. What are they going to like, you know, they got the three, the three setup thing, and in the middle it's like, oh, I made a thing. What do you think right. it's going to be? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Give you a hint. Something that bubbles. <laughs> a volcano. A paper oh, mache volcano. volcano. Oh, That's the God. answer. Okay. No big deal. Oh, okay. So well, you I, have a house. See, I, <laughs> I don't have room for a volcano. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Uh, I'll tell you why in just a moment. So I wanted to find. Oh, well, it. wait a minute. Things that explode. Uh, what? Things that explode? I mean, it's not a volcano. Have Does you been to a science not- fair? It's all the kids with their paper mache volcanoes. Oh, uh, I know, but they are like explosions. A, oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, it does fit. It does fit. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So I wanted to find uh, something to do a volcano with. So I searched on, on Amazon, as I do, and I found this volcano. Now, it says pocket it, volcano, but I didn't quite realize. Did you go to a porn site for this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> pocket. It is the pocket volcano. Yeah. That does sound uh, quite a bit yeah. uh, uh, naughty, kind of. Uh, so I thought, you know, I was seeing photos. Wow, how cool does that look? Oh my gosh, I want this pocket volcano. Uh, I order it, and oh my gosh, it is pocket. It is tiny. Oh my word. <laughs> this okay. can you ask for something that was small in size? This is the tiniest little volcano. Uh, I ever did see. Yeah, but, but you know, but what, was it only seven dollars? Did I see six ninety nine? Yeah, it was six ninety something. Wow. Okay. Six ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna test out our little pocket volcano Ooh. here. Um, so it, it's quite simple. There we go. We've Got to get it out of the packaging first. On the bottom, on the back, it, it uh, gives you a few experiments uh, to do. Now, uh, the last one we can't do. I don't have any uh, bathtub seltzer, and I can't go grab a bathtub. But either we could do the baking soda with pouring vinegar on top, or we could do uh, baking powder? Baking powder? Huh? And baking powder? I didn't. I thought that was a glass full of vinegar. Okay, well, let's do this one, because that's the only one that I got. I only have baking soda with me. Okay, so uh, you have your little vol- volcano. In the back, whoa, there's paper here. A message from the volcano. You will meet a tall, dark stranger. Warning, this explodes. No, um... (laughs) I got my wish. Those are... Okay, we got that. Okay, so the the little bottom section, uh, it has an easy way to just unlock there. And so now we have a uh, an opening. So we're going to I'm going to Oh, okay. Get some Oh, so you have you have to mix the explosives. Yeah, you do. Yes, this is the okay. explosive mixing. Hopefully the NSA uh, doesn't scan podcasts <laughs> otherwise uh, we may be in for a problem here. 
Um, so I went. I went to the store and bought some baking uh, baking soda. I actually was okay. didn't have any. Um, there we go. What is baking soda used for? Uh, baking. Baking. baking it, it makes uh, cakes rise. What? And also, baking soda is used to re Make remove volcanoes. smells from the refrigerator. Okay. Did your mom not keep a, a box of baking soda in the refrigerator? She did. I baking just thought powder? that that was like a yeah. way to store it, but uh, like, it, it absorbs uh, bad odors, like milk or something. Yeah, uh, exactly. So if you don't have $5,000 to that refrigerator <laughs> to tell you when food's gone off, just spend uh, a few, 89 a cents for one of those uh, almond soda. hammer things. Yeah. Okay, so I have now uh, set the baking soda into uh, the receptacle. Okay. Uh, the baking soda holding receptacle. Okay. Okay. Um, let me make sure that I can grab this and lock it in place. Of course, I can't turn it over now. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's that's down. Let's get. Uh, I have some white vinegar here. Whoa! Oh my gosh! And let's see what let's see what happens here. I do you not have to measure the vinegar? Oh, you do. Do okay. I? What does oh it no! Say? Just pour it in. Pour vinegar and baking soda, not included, into the volcano chamber and watch it erupt. That was. Oh, okay. That's the instructions yes. I got. Okay. Okay, some of the chat room says baking soda is also good for indigestion. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Is that it? That, wait, that was it? Come on. Ah! <laughs> ah! It, God, it's short live. Yeah, it's, it erupts multiple times. This ain't no uh, Hiroshima. No. Uh, it, is it is that not making any noise? Is it? No. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a bubbly like a bubbly. <laughs> Woo! I this guess it requires kid. quite a lot of vinegar. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think this is probably put out by the Vinegar uh, Manufacturers Association. Must give it more vinegar. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's, it's ah, sort of, it's sort of interesting. It's kind of doing something. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's go. Let's see what uh, what's going on inside. Oh, now I smell like vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. We used up most of the baking soda. Oh, inside. we did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of used up. It's there's still a little bit of something in there, but. Uh, uh, pour vinegar in it without the uh, thing on top. See if we get a better effect. Although we don't have all the coloring. Ah! <laughs> it's rather instantaneous. Yeah, it's rather, it's not. Hmm, well, okay. you know what? I think Well, kids... we learned something. What happens if I just pour baking soda right on the... <laughs> you know what? What happens if you just pour vinegar on baking soda? Do you even need the volcano? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, it's also hard to see the the white, yes, the white clear vinegar, white, white baking yeah. soda, white plate. Huh. Okay, well, hey, you know what? It only costs seven bucks. So okay. um, your pocket volcano. Someone, if someone said you can just do it inside. Well, wait a minute. Inside a 35 millimeter film can uh, canister. Who has those? Yeah. But it, it seems Jesus like you could do it inside film. a glass, right? Yeah, inside of a glass. or So what I assumed what I was going to do was I was going to fill this with baking soda, fill this with vinegar, and right. then drop it in. But oh. It's, but it said it says to do that with baking powder. Uh, inside of a, number two, add baking powder, not included, which is different from baking soda, uh, into a the volcano ch chamber and place it into a glass of water. It is like an underwater volcano smoking in a deep ocean. Oh, all right. Your volcano may float when performing the eruption underwater. Should this occur, hold the volcano in the water with your hand for a while. Let the water flush into the chamber. After it is fully filled with water, your volcano should sit at the bottom of the bath slash tub of glass. Okay. Well, that was the, right. that well, was the volcano. Uh, 
Eric Tuckman said you can get three for a dollar at the dollar store. Of these? That's what he said. You'll get a three. Oh, just get Probably a three pack of pack. funnels, he's saying. Oh, yes. That's probably right. true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, if you want it nicely painted and... Uh, uh, you know, a young child would You have to get the official. The official pocket you do. volcano. You really do. Seven bucks. Seven dollars. Okay, so... Uh, let me That's the way. end of Science Month, children. For June. For June. June is over. I don't want to spill any of this vinegar anywhere. So let's just very carefully move that off to the side. So next, we asked our patrons for what next month, July, would be. And yes. they yes. came through... And narrowly, just narrowly, Bluetooth Gadgets won the vote with only four votes ahead of Water Gadgets. So that'd be like pool or drinking or... Oh, okay, sort of stuff. okay. Also, we had Yard Gadgets and Productivity Gadgets. Almost 100 votes. We're one vote away uh, from uh, 100 votes. So Bluetooth Gadgets... That Bluetooth. is a very large category, uh, is the winner. So our first Bluetooth gadget, um, the, the, the thing that I was thinking of was fitness. You know, everybody likes to do something with fitness, and I'm thinking of all these Fitbits and wristbands and all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. always connects over Bluetooth. So I wanted to find a crappy alternative, and... Lo and behold, uh, I found... Green tooth? <laughs> exactly. No, yeah, a brown tooth. Yeah, it was, uh, it was not even blue. Um, this is the iBiz Utility, Utility Adult Fitness Tracker. And uh, let me just quickly just show off um, what it looks like. And then I'm going to ask you, whoopsie, darn it, I didn't want to show you the price. I hope you didn't catch the price. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to ask you how much you think uh, that this bad boy costs, okay? So it's the iBiz. So what it does, it's app wirelessly syncs uh, families' devices, great for parents and teachers. Uh, you get to track steps, wear on the hip, water-resistant, stores 30 days, it's an accelerometer, can sync numerous devices, great for parents, comes with an app. Any idea wow. what the iBiz Bluetooth fitness tracker Costs. Well, since you're making us guess, I assume it's a bargain, so I'm going to say $29. Less. Uh, Red Bird in the chat room says $99. So I, I undershot. <laughs> now we're getting $477. $13. Less. $29. Less. $299. Less. What? Well, okay. Uh, you do have to pay for shipping at that price. It is $1.99. What? With $5 shipping. Now, this is interesting because I don't think I bought it for this price uh, because there's also some other ones that are like $49 and $41. But and they, stuff they, like they that. all look like they're exactly the same. Oh, thing. yeah. They're just That's a different it. color. They're just a com different color. So um, let me see how much I actually paid because I actually think that price went down. <laughs> uh, from, it went down from $1.99? Oh, yeah, well, no, I think that, it, yeah, I bought it for, I got gypped uh, for $7, for, sorry, $9.95. Now, when I bought it, it was Amazon Prime, so. Oh, okay. Um, All right, so, so now it, it, it's I just went, $2 and how much shipping? Five nine or four ninety nine. dollars So uh, two plus You're out five, $2. seven. So I'm at seven bucks, right, uh, with the shipping. You paid nine? I paid nine and got. Well, you know, I, when you want a, a precise piece of Bluetooth <laughs> fitness equipment, I think spending nine dollars is not out of the question. Right. Exactly. I mean, this is uh, this is <laughs> precise and professional <laughs> equipment, and I really cannot figure out how to get it outside of the packaging here. I'm going to break it. I'm, I'm feeling like okay. The eye bits. Oh my gosh! You know what? How can this be? Uh, I'm I'm on that page, Got iBit, it. and the black is a dollar ninety nine, and the I red know. one is forty nine. I know, I know, 
I don't understand. I, I really don't oh, understand. Cow. So, of course, the first thing to do is, is I'll have to get the, the app. Um, and then I may even have to charge this thing. I'm not actually 100% uh, certain. I, w I really badly wanted to set this up be, uh, before the show, but I needed to go get the baking soda, and so I had to run off um, and, uh, and not set this up uh, before the show. So we're going to kind of do this a little bit. Oh, that's not how you spell bits. B-I-T-Z uh, is uh, the... Is <laughs> How you spell this? Ooh, man, the app has two and a half stars. Uh, Chad, did you? <laughs> I'm on the Amazon page. Did you yeah. check the reviews? No. Okay. There's uh, five not good. five stars, twenty three percent. One okay. star, twenty seven percent. Oh my gosh! There's more one stars than there are five star reviews. Uh oh, this is bad. <laughs> Although. Okay. Although someone said okay for the price, twenty two dollars. Okay for well, see, I got it for ten. So you, you got it for seven. I got it for yeah, yeah. exactly. So okay, so yes, I'm no, I'm new. Uh, I don't have an account. Continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, my birthday. I'm gonna say it's, April. Or where's April? There we are. April. This probably doesn't need to know an exact uh, nah. exact birthday. Okay, there we go. Height, uh, six-ish feet, weight. Do they have ish in there? Ish? Yeah, six-ish. Six-ish feet, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then continue. Oh, gosh, I need to type in all sorts of stuff now. Um, hmm, okay. Well, I would assume, uh, I, I'm upset that I have to go through this uh, in order to, to actually see what the app looks like. And then also, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to give this app my, uh, my all personal, that stuff, personal information. Well, um, you know what? You could do it during the week and show us the app, the results next week if you yeah, want to. Exactly. I think that that is uh, something that I'll I'll have to do. Um, uh, Someone said, "Is 1970 the lowest date on that?" Thing? Uh, was it? No, I, I think it went lower. It went lower. Okay. It went lower. Uh, okay, I have successfully created my, my profile. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so using a pen or sharp object, press and hold the start button on the side of the iBiz for about 10 seconds. Okay. Well, we need a pen or a sharp object. Luckily, I happen to have a... Uh, a headphone cable here, which is pretty, pretty okay. sharp. Okay, we're going to push that in. One, two, three, four. I see a green light on top. Whoa. Oh, when, it, when it turns Technology red, Technology at work. Okay. Hey, it looks like something's happening here. Uh, so okay. for that price, there's no screen, there's no readout on the device itself. Oh, no, yeah. No. You know, what's okay. interesting, though, is first impressions, this is a pretty solid... Uh, Solid constructed little thing. I don't feel like it's, you know. Sometimes you get you know new plastic products. Yeah. And it feels it feels very. Uh, I well, that's know, that's good because when you hate it and throw it against the wall, <laughs> it won't break. Okay, let's identify this guy. Uh, I don't know if that identify. Oh, oh, there we go. It continued. Wow, look at that. Okay. Wow. And there we go. My activation Getting code. Oh my gosh, guys! Lights. Don't look. This this might be secret. I highly doubt that it is. Wow! Um, I hate it when companies do this. Is that a one in between? Oh, I hate that too. Is that a, is that a one or an, or an I, I or an yeah. L? Um, a small uh, L. That is ridiculous. And when they do a zero, is it zero or oh the letter O? I wish that they would just remove those uh, those yep. options. <laughs> yeah. Like, Make it so that you, you, I never see that. Yeah. I, I'm going to assume that it is an I uh, okay. for the I biz if it doesn't work out. Oh, that makes sense. You know, I don't know. Who, who knows? I. Oh, everybody's saying I, 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 I. Success. Okay, we have taken zero steps. Uh, hmm. Well, yep, uh, I'll definitely have to... Um, 
to test this out on my own. Oh, wow. You just took 176 steps? I, uh, uh, current pounds. I'm 176 pounds. Oh, um, okay. Okay. Steps. Yeah, this is my current BMI. All well, that you know, stuff. it looks like a real app. We got, yeah, it looks like a pretty okay app. We got some user yeah. info. I can sync, so let's try to sync this data. Syncing now. O is always fatter than a zero. <laughs> I know, That's but a really hard concept to understand when you don't know what font they decided uh, to put <laughs> yes, in. Yes, exactly. So I'll have to use the iBiz and keep uh, walking around with it uh, for the next little bit. Now, the one thing I'm worried about is I, I do not know how I'm going to charge this. Uh, Oh, that, oh, that's the secret, Chad. You have to throw it away when it... You have to buy a new one every week. Apparently, uh... Huh. <laughs> It's taking quite a long time to sync. I gotta, I gotta say, it's, uh, it's taking a while. Oh, oh, it's synced. Last sync today. How many steps? 29 steps! Oh, yes! I'm on my way to fitness! Wow! I have already taken 29 steps just while sitting here. That's fantastic. So <laughs> just while waving your arm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yeah. This will definitely have to be something that I get back to uh, next week we'll put it on my. Uh, but you know what? For seven bucks. Seven dollars. Amazon. You know what? Right you know now. what? For, forget the volcano for seven bucks. Give a kid <laughs> that for seven bucks. Basically, you know, I was hoping that it would do a little bit more fitness tracking, but it looks like it is just a pedometer. Only a pedometer um. and nothing more. Which is, you know, what a seven dollar pedometer that connects with an app to your phone. That's small and feels very solid. Not bad. If it costs seven bucks. If it costs forty bucks, no way. Absolutely no way. No no. Way. But don't uh, most phones have a pedometer in them? A lot of phones do. Yeah, that's do. true. Yeah. That is the truth. Uh, my phone um, has uh, the health kit. Um, yeah, mine too. Yeah. So I can I can already see uh, how many how many steps I'm taking. That's kind of interesting. Someone, uh, Steve, is saying. This was like $7 crappy corner day. It was. Co it basically both your, was. Both your devices were $7. It basically was. So it already says I took 2000 You know, I can keep my phone with me and see. Uh, see oh, that's a good way. You yeah. know, what the difference is between the two. Perfect. So those are my two crappy corners. We got first the pocket volcano and next the Bluetooth. iBiz Utility Adult Fitness Tracker. Uh, that was, uh, I, I bought it for $10, but you can buy it right now for 7 So, uh, very, very, very nice. Now, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. How many steps do you think that dance was? I'm t uh, I would say that is a 37-step dance. Some dance steps on. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, okay, so I am doing my own gadget warehouse because I always forget to go to the warehouse and get myself waving flag. But I didn't forget this year, and this is what it looks like. Ooh. Wait, is this for 4th of July? For 4th of July, exactly. For 4th of July. Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Mad is trying to end the Gizwiz. One take vid here at gizwiz.tv. Coming up to 4th of July weekend, 2016. So I'm going to go back to the warehouse to 2005, 11 years ago, to find the wave. Okay. Ooh, wow! I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> this is pretty neat, isn't it? I agree. And that looks way cool. Play three different songs, and you don't need a breeze. The flag just waves. You can stop that one. It'll also play... Oh, it's still playing that one. Okay. Uh, it should... Here we go. March around. Also, my trains are running in the background. Yeah. Very proudly, 
waves over the Disneyland Railroad. So this was about 60 bucks. And surprisingly, you can still find it on eBay for about 60 bucks. The Wave, three different songs, Star Spangled Banner, My Country Tis of These, Stars and Stripes Forever. Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Mads Rider, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Have a happy 4th of July. I'm waving at you as the flag is waving at all of us. Bye. How does that work? You know, it, it, it is really fascinating. Um, back then, the company was called uh, SRM Entertainment, and they partnered with the co-inventor of the Atari 2600. What? And the inventor of Furby. And there are little wires in there. All, uh, it, it just... It's pretty neat, isn't it? That's way cool. And I'm really surprised I haven't seen that in other applications. I haven't seen that done in other places. Uh, I, I'm i not quite sure how it does it either. You know, you can feel little wires in there. And I'm not sure if it's because it's 11 years old. It's making a racket yeah. now. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the motor, yeah. which I don't think it did at, at the beginning. But it's pretty neat. And, you know, go to that link, Chad, that I, I sent. Because someone on eBay has one in a box. They said the box is torn, but it's brand new. And it's 20 bucks. 20 bucks! And $10 shipping. So you would be getting something that was $60 11 years ago. Do you get and two, run- or is that just... You know, uh, no, no, he, he had two of them for sale. Oh, my God. And he sold one of them. And uh, it, it, it is... It's very clever. It has three songs. You can also turn the volume all the way down if you just want to have the flag waving. And there's some sort of a plaque on the be- on the front of it that must have fallen off in the warehouse. I think it's just a picture of an eagle. Yeah, it is. But, yeah. Uh, but it's ingenious, isn't it? That is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm wondering if, uh, like, I'm surprised that, like, say, an office building doesn't have a big waving flag in the middle you of it. You know what? That, that's a, that is a great idea. Some years after, and, and I'll have to go see if I could find that, some had designed one that the box actually, actually not the, the, the pedestal for the flag has a fan in it aiming up. But it's not as effective as this because sometimes the flag would, like, get in the breeze and then flip around all the way and didn't wave anymore or somehow would fall out of the breeze and you'd have to stand it up so it got in the little breeze. This thing just, uh, every time you press the button, it just waves and it does a really decent job of doing it. The only thing I can think of why I haven't seen this in other places is whatever technology is causing that to wave back and forth can't scale. <laughs> it can only be four inches long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I get <laughs> That one might that's make a, some sense. That's right. They would, they would need 19 car batteries <laughs> exactly. and a generator exactly. if you had a, a full-size flag. Um, that's really but, cool. I almost want to yeah. buy one of these just to take it apart. Yeah, and, well, uh, you better grab that one for 30 bucks. See, see how it works? That's way yeah. cool. Way cool. Yeah. Wow, great, great uh, uh, gadget warehouse. Uh, and we're still looking for more videos. We have a couple in the house, and, and, and uh, we have several from people who just sent us videos. So we, we're sort of hoping to get videos from Oh, my gosh, who Dick, you're going you're gonna to be anything. really happy here. Sorry to yes. interrupt. Uh, but Eric Duckman in the chat room just found it on Amazon uh, what? for 11 bucks. Now it looks like it's slightly different. It's uh, oh, it's different. It's a little bit different, like that plaque. You know, is tiny. does it say waving? Uh, Electronic with des- two waving. Yeah, oh, no, wait waving a minute. You flag. know what? It must waving. The waving flag. Electric does it have flag. Does it have any reviews? Because this one has three songs. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm wondering if someone just knocked it off. Yeah, this one only has two songs. Ah, these cheap Chinese knockoffs I've of seen American on TV. flags. <laughs> when was that ever seen on TV? I don't know. You could get the flag 22 new stand 
Oh, it, it's different. Bucks? This is 17 inches tall. Wait, That's look at this. 14. Look at the image that it's using here, Dick. Oh, my gosh. This looks really similar. I don't know. You know what? I said I wanted one. I'll uh, this uh, one. You know what? You should get it, Chad, just to see. It's so cheap. It has uh, yeah. it's uh, four bucks shipping, five dollars. Oh, do it. Uh, do let's it. Do it. Adding that to my and, and I'll, I'll keep. I won't put mine back in the warehouse. And when you get it, well, well, uh, yeah, uh, we have lots you know. to check out next week. Oh my gosh, <laughs> check well, out I the it's, it's, not Am- it's not Amazon Prime. No, right? hopefully it'll no. arrive in time. Oh, oh well, well, we'll do it two or three weeks down the line, whenever it comes. <laughs> That'll That's be a fantastic. great thing. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. Well, that is in my cart. And, uh, okay, good. Yeah, Very there good. we go. There we go. Um, thank you, Eric Duckman, for... Uh, yeah, <laughs> finding that. That's great. <laughs> That's great. And, and someone said uh, it got 4.9 out of 5 stars from 7 reviews. Wow. So we'll see. see. Yeah. I, I, I'm concerned that they say 14 inches minus 17 inches. They say two songs minus three songs. So they the knocked it off. The is I, different, yeah. I, I, I just hope that they got the same waving action. Or it, it'll say, gently blow on your flag <laughs> as the song plays. <laughs> so it'd be, it's great you're getting one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, sorry, I interrupted your, your pitch to oh, yeah, yeah. people so, send in uh, video. So, uh, we're still looking for more videos. We have a couple in the house, and we have a couple from people who just sent in videos. So we want, we're looking for new people. Uh, so a video of something old, something you knew but you love, something you bought and you hate. <laughs> okay. So pretty much anything that you think is of interest to us. And that is pretty much uh, everything. And make a two- to three-minute video. Uh, post it on YouTube as unlisted. That way only people you send the link to uh, will see it. And send us the link. And that goes to gizwiz at, uh, it goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Okay, two to three minutes, gizwiz, uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show it, you get the current issue of Mad Magazine. Right now it's the August issue. And you get one of those uh, 28-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures. So get those videos in. Get them in, Mail and yeah. Gizwiz. And if you have the, if you have the 14-inch flag, make a video, even before Chad's Did you Do you get the 12-inch flag, even <laughs> less expensive? With one song. With a you get single the, song. And half waving action. Yeah, uh, or yeah. the six inch flag with no songs. <laughs> with no waving action. Exactly. Let us know. Uh, moving on. This is, by the way, my favorite letters theme ever. Right now, let's get to the letters. Here come the letters. Those lovely letters. Here come the Gizwiz letters now. That is our 19-step theme, and then we have our 27-step theme that we sometimes play. Uh, Okay, in honor of the holiday weekend, if you live in Asbury, New Jersey, or in, uh, where's the other place? Delray Beach, Florida, Bob Davis says, here's a place to check out the pinball machine. He says, Dick, it's 30 to 40 miles south of New York City on the ocean front. And let's take a look at their website. So we had, last week we had the... Was uh, fancy it was the, It was the video game uh, museum, right? Yes, yeah. And then also showing off the physical locations of the CEX, the sex store. Oh, yes, that's right. So now this is a pinball arcade which location the, should i go to oh go, go to the one that's 40 miles from me jersey uh, 40 mi- for jersey 40 miles from me might as well be uh, on the moon but <laughs> click that and do they have some oh my uh, okay. they got ooh, food wow, oh look my. at that great wow, food look at, them. Pinball look at those machines. Uh, well click here and it's kind of interesting i was looking at the page you can buy like a day of play, so you can play every machine for the entire day. Then they have where you can play the machines from the from the time they open till 5 p.m. 
and or, and then another you'll buy it again and play from 5 p.m. till they close. Oh, here if you. Uh, there we go. I was like, I want to see we, photos. Here we go. There we go. There you go. Also, wow. I love the fact. I love the fact that, that that seems to be a link. If you want to have your wedding there, I know who doesn't. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? You know, Whoa. seal seal that marriage with a with a competitive. Uh, uh, you know, I love the fact that. Can, can you go back to that one shot? I like the fact that in a promo shot. <laughs> Isn't that no one bothered putting the rug down? Or like adding more seats in the right. air. It's like, it's like someone tripped over the rug, doesn't it? All the it? trash cans over in the corner. Yes. You could reminds just cr me. crop this image at about right here. And yeah, I think yeah, it exactly. Would it reminds me of one of one of the funniest jokes Soupy Sales always tells. He, uh, he said, uh, I stayed at a hotel, at a motel that was so bad in the picture postcards at the front desk the beds aren't made. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, that's, that's a true. bad motel. That is a bad motel. Wow. wow. They, sh they have a ton of jukeboxes. Oh. Man, this is uh, amazing. This is really cool. Yeah. Well, what is that? that oh, I think it's that, the that, outside. Just the in, okay. yeah. I was going to say, what is weird. that? Pinball machines with real grass? <laughs> Uh, anyways, it's, uh, the website is silverballmuseum.com, and uh, the links to everything we talked about today uh, is at gizwiz.com. Biz. I want to see what one of these weddings will oh, look oh, like and, and in Bob, here. Right, Bob there we Dave, go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Bob Davis sent that in. Bob, did you have your wedding there? Oh, there we go. That, oh, wow. that is a oh, – oh, I see they have like – the, the eating is within the museum, too. Yeah. So it's oh. like, I wonder, I wonder if they had the actual ceremony or if this is just the reception. It's probably the reception. That's what I would hope. Uh, but maybe oh, and then, and then you know what? They have one of those claw machines, and you have to, <laughs> the bride has to try and get their ring. Exactly, yeah. Out of, come on, honey. Come yeah. on, get the diamond ring. <laughs> Not the plastic one. Get the diamond one. You'd have to beat my high score if you want this. Wow. Wow. What a cool place. Uh, thanks for indeed. sending that over. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Bob Davis. Bob Davis. So Florida or in New Jersey, uh, you don't have an excuse anymore to head on over to the Pinball Mu Machine yes. Museum. Yes. Very, very cool. So we get – wait. Do we get to find out what the heck is it now or next episode? No, oh, wait, no. Only, and I'm going to give only people who are listening now a hint. Oh, okay. So next episode. Okay, go, 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 go to the, uh, all right. So the, it, it ends tonight at midnight Eastern time. And the hint is more than 100 people know what it is. Oh, what? So send in a stupid answer if you so want So a to. lot of people know what the what the heck yes. is. It yes, yes, I I I thought that I'm going to be honest, I don't know. I have no oh, clue yeah. what this is. I happened to be thumbing through a catalog and I thought, "Oh my god, that's a great what the heck is it thing." I I've never used it. I just bought it to use this or what the heck is it but more than a hundred people said what are you kidding we oh know what that is gosh i have no clue if, right, in well. chat if you're in chat and you know what this is type one in chat if you know what this is because i don't i have no clue wow okay so get in your hilarious silly funny and, ridiculous yeah, answers by midnight tonight if you're watching this live uh, because a comb for bart simpson uh yeah, I mean, there's all sorts. There's all sorts of people that. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some zeros in chat too. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. That is well, at gizwiz.biz. Yeah. Yeah. Gizwiz.biz. Click on what the heck is it? <laughs> there's only 12 Mad Magazines for the correct answer. So only yeah, a so tenth we're gonna, of the we're people. Gonna, exactly. We're gonna go to 100 people. Just pick 12 of them. Yeah. Randomly. Yeah. And, yep. uh, okay, well, uh, get your guesses in now. In fact, I think it's really only the live. People who are watching live are the only that ones is who correct, get to, uh... That is correct, because you only, you only have three hours. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that is what the heck is it. We'll find out next episode. 
uh, what the actual heck it is. Also, big thank you to our patrons over at Patreon.com. Patreon.com is a place, is a platform for uh, people who watch and enjoy shows to support the content creators that make those shows. We have our own Patreon page, patreon.com slash gizwiz, where we're creating the same Dunab show every (laughs) single week. Uh, and if you become a patron, not only do uh, you get our sincere thanks and that warm, fuzzy feeling uh, that lets you know that you support a show that you like. Uh, hey, we also share uh, polls with you about what theme the crappy corner will be. If we ever have any other question that uh, we need to ask you guys, we go to our patrons first. And uh, it is just fantastic. So thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. And uh, we really, really, really appreciate it. If you, you know, want, go ahead. Uh, we should also thank all the people who voted for us Big in thanks. the podcast awards. Be- Becky Absolutely. was sending out tweets every day that people should vote every day. So we have no idea how far down the line we were from winning, but the fact that we were nominated was just great. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Because that they can't take away from no, us. No, they can't. Uh, they can't. But for everybody uh, who was in our corner, thank you very much. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would definitely like to find out about how far how far down the list we are. I, I would suspect we're number two. Uh, is actually oh, what I would suspect. At least I was gonna say one and a half. One and a half at least. I, it wasn't enough to be two. We at were. Least. We were right. <laughs> we were uh, looking over the winner's shoulder. That's. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So big, big, big thank you to uh, everyone who uh, who supported the show. If you want to watch the show live, that is at gizwiz.tv every Thursday, or we try to be every Thursday. We'll update you, hopefully, uh, the show before if we're a little bit off. Uh, at around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time over at gizwiz.tv. This is the place to do it. Here we are live right now. And there's the chat room. Make sure you join oh. the chat room. Hang out. I thought you were kidding. Oh, no. We're no. on television, That's Ma. us. That's this. That's us. If you don't catch the show live, no big deal. We record it for you, and we put it up on iTunes or YouTube. There's different versions on iTunes to subscribe to, HD, SD, or audio. Those links are all right there at gizwiz.tv. As long as all of our old episodes, uh, you can click in, see the show notes, see the products, see the thumbnails. That see cat Waffles looks, the cat. See Waffles. So happy. So happy she is. Uh, and uh, that is all at our website, gizwiz.tv. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Gizwiz. We will see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>